Hello viewers, what's up? Today I'm going to be making a video of this um, 400 watt metal halide fixture, um, but except uh, instead of sorry running it with this um, 400 watt metal halide bulb, I thought it would be interesting to put an incandescent in here because the transformer in this outputs like 400 volts. I'll just be using this um, adapter and then I will get it set up. Okay, first we're going to try this 60 watt incandescent bulb here. Um, I have it in the base adapter and it's, I'm just going to back up to turn it on because I don't want it to explode in my face. And I'm going to turn it on in three, two, one. Okay, that was not nearly as eventful as I thought it was going to be. It just burned out. It didn't do much anything else, except it did get a lot brighter and a lot cooler color temperature than a standard incandescent bulb would. Um, just because of, again, the high voltage. And here is a 60-watt um, equivalent halogen. I forget what the wattage of these are, but I know it's a 60-watt equivalent. In 3, 2, 1. A little bit after. Whatever. Um... Well, again, that was not that eventful. Just burned out. It produced an even bluer light than the incandescent. So it was like a really cool white or daylight LED or like fluorescent or something. That's what it looked like to me. Um, the third thing I want to try here is this little fridge bulb because I've tried this once before, if I'm going to be honest with you. And it has done some arcing. So I'll see that in 3, 2, 1. Oh, yeah, that definitely had some arcing going on in there. You could see the first flash, like the others, was just really bright, way brighter than it should be, and really cool white colored. So, um, But then it started arcing after that. That was pretty cool. I don't know what it is with these like fridge light bulbs, but they seem to keep arcing and actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this back in and see if I can turn this back on and see whether it will arc or not because I want to know if it can actually strike a discharge in there and it does not look like it will the lights are dimming because the electrical up here is sketchy but nope that bulb is blown it does not it must be the filament separating when it blows that causes the arc to be struck um, anyway, um, here I just wanted to record the incandescent bulb has zero trace of the filament left. I think it's still in there. It's just no part of it is not, it, no part of it is on the holder. Excuse me. Um, I think it's still in there. Oh yeah, it is. It's right there. That's pretty cool. So it just melted at the ends, I guess. It just fell off.